Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. I am in the car with Bush Radical. We are heading to a local TV station nearby. Gonna be on the news tonight. Stay tuned. Huh. We're locked What's in. Okay, pull. Can I get an appointment? Yes. Yes. With whom? Charlie and Lauren. All right, one home. What is going on? <laughs> oh. We have to wait to be buzzed in. Oh, but we have a court. visitor. <laughs> Hi. We're going to be friends. Oh, my gosh. Yes. What is going on? What is going on? That puppy is adorable. I love shop dogs. Yep. Oh, hi. Hey, hi. how's it going? Hi. You guys again. Hi, hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm doing a behind the scenes, Lauren. So. Oh, I love it. Here we are at 9 and 10. Thank you guys for coming today. Thank you. <laughs> the dog, what a greeter. This is our little news dog. Oh, hi. She's so sweet. That's awesome. So. We got here and they're like, hey, why don't you guys go outside and do a fire for the show? <laughs> okay. I have like street shoes on, but it'll work. So we just found this location and uh, for a fire. Dave's going to get some dry stuff broke off. It's been really wet here in Michigan, but we're going we're gonna to do a fire. Outside of this is wet. Inside's good. Finally gave out. Uh oh. Let's get there. All right, we got a we got a little bit. They're in a big, long-winded segment right now, so we got like like five minutes. Yeah. Oh. It's warm up here. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Warm up for a second. Yeah, absolutely. Just keep your beard away. Yeah. I already burned the crap out of my hair today. I usually Man, have this it braids. Cool. Do you have any uh, difficulty getting it started? No. Seems like you got it done pretty quick. We got a pile of dead maple right up here. In this old snag. And we brought all our tools. We were thinking, you know, it's uh... <laughs> This is a great teaching moment for survival. Oh yeah. We came here uh, thinking looking, we were going to be in studio. Yeah, we're we're expecting a posh interview with a cup of coffee, and <laughs> we got street clothes on. We just got chucked out in the woods. To start a fire. And, uh, See, that's what I expect the unexpected. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's a yeah. lesson well, for all. Luckily, of Luckily, we had just a couple odds and ends to, to get this fire going with it. We thought we would just bring a show and tell item. <laughs> so it actually works out. You know, it, it's a good moment to say, hey, you know this. This speaks a lot to being prepared yeah, in the wear winter. Yeah, Don, check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Yeah, it's on. Check, check. My FB is partially working. Kinda. Now where are you gonna be standing, Charlie? I might move my camera. Sure. Probably just like mic check again, please. Mic check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe start on the fire. You think? Or do you think start on us? And it's alone, right? Alone, season four. Okay. Eight days until you found each other? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. That was yeah. a long trip. I loved the uh, I loved what you said about the raisins. That it was like oh. it was like a three bite sort of scenario. It's, it's oh amazing. man. And amazing. you're just so happy to have it. Yeah. Like that one raisin means so much. It's like it, it all we had was fish. Fish and water. So you're having like a cup of hemlock tea or spruce tea and a piece of fish cooked over an open fire. So to have something that wasn't a fish to eat, <laughs> even just that little piece of raisin, it tasted like a million bucks. Oh, I bet. And the raisins soak up all the salt from the peanuts. It's like a salty raisin. Yeah. So when it's 
when it gets to that point where that one little tiny piece of food means so much to you, you know you got nothing going on in your life, right? Right, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, oh, I, I think, like a little bit of food means you get to keep on fighting, right? I mean, you yeah. kind of yeah. fight through another day and then another yeah. day and another day. Is it, is it sort of a one day at a time, let's say, oh, scenario? Oh, yeah. I mean, you really, it's hand to mouth. Yeah, yeah I'm here coming back from break. Okay. Why not? Mike is like... Oh, welcome back here on the forum. Having an interesting conversation with Dave and Brooke Whipple, who uh, we just told you about. They were on season four of Alone, and you guys were literally helicoptered into the wilderness, and it took you eight days to find each other, right? That's true. Absolutely. It was an eight-day hike across Vancouver Island, and a uh, long trip. What? How? Tell, tell me all about it. What happened? You know, waiting for him, you just don't know when he's going to show up. We had no idea where each other were, and incredible experience to just be waiting for someone to appear that you love, and you don't know when they're going to show up. <laughs> and you know, you really can't start your adventure really until we get together. So that's Absolutely. a big moment. Absolutely, and we're we're in the middle of a teaching moment right now. Uh, so Absolutely. you guys came out here despite uh, how wet everything was, and you you found some some dry wood to light on fire. And as I think any survivalist knows, fire is one of the most important. Uh, items in your toolkit, right? Absolutely, fire is essential. And if we were going to be here much longer, we would have to build a shelter. <laughs> we just showed up in street clothes for an interview and a cup of coffee and got thrown out here into the woods. They thought they were in for a posh interview and I said, no way, we're coming out here, we're starting a fire. Uh, and that is exactly what we're doing. It is nice and toasty out here. Um, and I think, you know, living in Michigan, living in northern Michigan, specifically, you know, I think when you're up here long enough and you're driving for long enough, you say, okay, well, I really need to be prepared for the unpreparable. You know, I need to have certain things in my car. So what what would be the, the number one thing uh, that you would tell people maybe who uh, weren't expecting a longer stay, your car breaks down, you need to start a fire or something like that, what's a good piece of advice you could give them? We personally never leave the house without coats, mittens, you know, blankets, really heavy clothing. We lived in we lived in Alaska for 14 years, year round, and now we split our time between Alaska and Michigan. Okay. You absolutely have to have everything you need to self-support. Absolutely. And that is really the key to survival in any situation. It's having what you need to be independent of anybody else. Right. Yep. And that's exactly what we're talking about. You guys were basically just thrown out here and you may too. Uh, do you have your flint with you? I kind of want to try this. Yeah. 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 yeah let's give it, a, let's give it a quick go before we have to wrap this up. Use. Okay. What am so, I doing here? I've, I was in Boy Scouts, but it's been a long time, so please nobody judge me. So this is really <laughs> an easy thing to have in your pockets. It's okay. just a cotton ball. Just something as simple as a cotton ball can okay. help you get a fire started. And you want to open it up so it's kind of like a fluffy cloud, so the fibers become a little more loose. And what you're going to have to do is come down on the ground and, and you just take the ferro rod and press really hard. Okay. Okay, and you're going to want to put that force right over top of the ferro rod and you just spark that right into the cotton ball. Okay, so I'm going to have you hold the mic for a second yeah. while I do this. Yeah. We're going to put it on this little piece of bark so it's a little drier for you. And then I want you to put it right on there. Right on top of the cotton ball. Man, this is You've not. You've got this. This is not what I thought I'd be doing on my Tuesday. Nope. <laughs> Put this right down. Right down there. Press really hard. Yeah, you got yes! it. Yes. You yeah. got it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right, Brooke. Nice I'm gonna need a high five. David, we're gonna need a high five. We are here with the Whipples, right. uh, who are just master survivalists, and we thank them for joining us today. Uh, you can look forward to a lot more fun and excitement on the floor. We have Allison Peters coming up. I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> you did it on camera. Whoa! Good deal. Whoa! Good deal. Second try, man. Nice job. Very cool. Look good, Derek? Very good, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Man, I am not I used I to this sucker. I in the fire there for a second. I've used one of these yeah, once. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure if you understood what I was telling you to do because she was talking and you had the mic way back here. I'm like, I'm going to interface, man. Yeah. Oh, you got man. a lot going on with the fire and you know, everything else. Heck so. Yeah, guys. All right, well, if you want to stick around for a minute until the show finishes, i got to go. I can run back in yeah, there. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. That, that looked awesome. We're just going to yeah. pack our stuff. Do you need any more out here with us? No, I think we're all set. Uh, I think we're all set. Derek, okay. can you run and let me in real quick? Well, that's a wrap guys they just finished the segment and we're heading back in for some coffee 
I think it went really good. So what do you think, hon? I think it went pretty good. Even though we kind of showed up with the idea of just sitting down and being pampered, we got checked out here in the wilderness to actually make a fire. <laughs> but, you know, that's a lot of fun. It turned Pretty out good. good. Time. Thanks much, man. Good job. It's over. I was so fun. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for coming. Nice meeting. to meet you. Great to meet you. Drive safely. Thank, Thank you. you. To take off this new giant knife 12 inch knife before we go have a Reuben somewhere well I singed my hair twice over the fire but I think now it's time for clam lake a beverage and a Reuben what do you think I think so I think that sounds fantastic and that's, that would be a wrap